To continue our ghost town trip, we had made it to Phillipsburg, but not up to Granite at this point. So we, we ended up just heading back to the campground and the following day we made Garnet and I posted a video for that and then after that we headed to Bannock and here you can see we're, we're camped out at Bannock right on the Grasshopper Creek where they found gold and, and mined uh, for gold for many years and it was really amazing to camp right there just outside of the ghost town Bannock because it allowed us to go into the ghost town a few times and that gave us the opportunity to both take pictures to just wander around to take some video and while we didn't do a lot of video it wasn't really our tent this trip to make a bunch of videos and post a video on YouTube honestly it was really just to get out and enjoy and I would encourage anyone to do that especially at places like Bannock, Bannock, Garnet, um, Nevada City. Uh, Virginia City's fun. It's it's um, it's kind of half modern. People are, are running businesses and half museum, and you'll see some of that here. But Vanek is not occupied. Uh, these are original buildings. They've been here since uh, some of them since around 1892, 1893, and it was actually the the territorial capital at one point so there's quite an interesting history uh, in Bannock and about Bannock with the first territorial governor coming from Bannock um, you know the, the vigilante road uh, the innocents which was a gang of, of thieves I guess you'd call them uh, the hanging of the local sheriff and his his thieves all very interesting stuff so it was fun to be here fun to check it out check out where the gallows was you can actually see the gallows from the jail house so if you were put in jail uh, and you wanted to look out the window during the day you could literally look right down the street to where the gallows was to remind you maybe you should behave so it's a really neat town beautiful hotel there uh, Hotel Mead which was originally a county courthouse um, lots of buildings that you can go in, wander around, check them out. And if you camp there, like I said, you can really uh, kind of come and go. And that was really nice because what we did, and you'll see that here in a little bit, is after we got set up and camped at Bannock and spent an evening walking through the town, the next day we actually drove to uh, Nevada City and... Uh, Virginia City and stopped at a couple small towns that had some old buildings that I guess you'd say they were originally you know they, they were kind of ghost towns uh, but there were people living in that area now but it was fun it was a good trip um, then when we went um, we left Bannock and went to Yellowstone uh, you, we drove right through Nevada City and Virginia City again had a great time at Yellowstone honestly until we we got to the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone I, I wasn't really sure I was gonna go back it was neat it was fun it was a great place to be but um, I, I felt it was like a you got to see it at least once in your lifetime and then we got to the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone and that changed my mind and I realized we needed to come back and so we will go back but when we left Yellowstone we decided to go back through Virginia City and Nevada City heading towards uh, Drummond and Missoula where we decided to camp about 20 24 miles outside of uh, Drummond on the way to Missoula and when we were coming through Nevada City we noticed that it was open it hadn't been open yet and we were able to walk through and we really were surprised at how large and, and well preserved Nevada City was. Um, I'm pretty sure there's maybe more buildings there than there were at Bannock or it's very close um, so it's a really neat place to go on the weekends they have people in period garb they've got uh, shops and things set up really well so it's a lot of fun to go to especially if you have kids uh, it'd be worth taking kids to and um, you know it, we, we spent we spent at least an hour uh, in Nevada City could have spent more time there it was it wasn't really planned but then the trip was kind of one of those where you just sort of wander around and 
and just kind of enjoy it. But um, after Nevada City, we got to the campsite in uh, tw about 24 miles outside of Drummond and decided to set up camp, jump in the Jeep, and head up to Granite. And I posted a video earlier. Uh, kind of did these videos in reverse, but I posted one of uh, the road up to Granite. There's not many buildings left at Granite. I was kind of disappointed with that. Um, if you look back, even just five or six years, it uh, seemed like the buildings were in better shape than they are today. They're, they're really starting to, to crumble. Uh, but the road up for, for Jeep folks, lots of fun. And um, if I had more time, there were some roads out there we could have explored. But it was really sort of a last minute, let's jump in the Jeep and and head out so anyway there you have it that's um that's really the the gist of all of this uh, the ghost town hunting the trip to Yellowstone lots of fun we definitely want to do it again and I hope you enjoy the video um, and if you, you like what you see here uh, please hit subscribe it definitely helps and uh, who, who knows maybe I'll actually get a decent GoPro and make a little better videos. I, I, I know I can do it if I've got the cameras. I just, this has been more of a hobby to share with friends and family. So we'll see. Anyway, thanks everyone. Have a great day.